at the school athletics day, the distances in meters achieved by students in the long jump are modeled by the normal distribution with mean 3.3, so that's mu, and standard deviation 0.6, that's sigma. So of course, straight away, just draw your, at least write down your distribution. X is normally distributed with the following usual, usual way of writing it. Okay, A. Find an estimate for the proportion of students who jump less than 2.5. So what this means is that we just want to simply find the, the, the value of x less than 2.5 and find that probability. So the standard procedure. Now to use to solve this, we need to convert it to the z form so we can use the tables. So it'd be z less than 2.5 minus the mean over standard deviation. Evaluate that, you get minus 1.33. Now because the table is in less than form, this is perfect. However, there is no negative values in the, in the table. So what you should do is firstly take out the minus sign outside and put one minus. This is uh, if you want, you can learn this trick. This is a, this is a shortcut to how to quickly go from here to here. If you go negative, just whip it out and write one minus and then copy the same form. Now, thankfully, if you use the normal table, you just scan for one point three three. I suppose we could quickly scan for that. Okay, here we are. So here's the tables. So quickly scan for one point three three for the z value. So remember, you can only use this the big table if the um, if the probability is actually less than or equal so this only works for that because we only care about the left hand side of the distribution so find 1.33 guys which is over here so that's how i got 0 0.9082 now back to the question so zero so replace this with 0 0.9082 one minus it and done the probability that proportion drop less than 2.5 is this now next one so here we go. So it says here that the long jump competition consists of two jumps. Okay, so we're still moving forward. All the students can take part in the first jump and 40% who jump the greatest distance in their first jump qualify for second for jump two. So, so basically, in the first jump, if you get the top 40%, you will do the second jump. So what I did is I just drew a nice bell curve, did the mean 3.3 because it's always like this. And up on, on the right hand side, I just put the value D, represent the minimum value you need to be in the top 40%. Okay, so the reason why it's like this is because in the middle is 50%, so all of this covers 50, so 40 must be on the right. And that's the area of interest. So D is bigger than 3.3, by the way. Now, question part B. So find an estimate for the minimum distance achieved in the first jump in order to qualify for the second jump. So that's the D. So all this necessary means is just find um, users relationships. So find property X bigger than D. And we know that the area of that is 40%. And now we just need to expand this to the Z form. So change it to Z. D minus the mean over sigma, the usual form, which equals 40%. And now all we do is just look at the table to find the equivalent value here. Now, one thing to note, for these kind of questions here, yeah, you have two tables. You have the, the less than and the greater one. If you're using the greater sign, then you need to use the small table, the percentage table. So let's have a look. And we need to find the 40% mark. So this one records the greatest left the, the, the less than one. Whereas this small table records the greater and equal. So something like that. Some 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 percentage value. Because we have 40%, we look at P equals 40%, 0.40. And that's the equivalent to the Z value of 2.5. Three, three. Now plug in that in 2.533. Now all we do is say, okay, this entire quantity must equal this value. So now we just solve this. So times it by 0 0.6 plus 3.3, .3, and we should get a D value of 3.452. If this if this is not clear, let me know in the comments if you want me to actually show you an equation of this. Otherwise, let's keep going. Okay, part C. So this is similar. So find an estimate for the median distance in the first jump by those who qualify for the second jump. Now, oh, so this one's a bit weird. So what this means is that to find the median distance achieved in the first jump, we need to find basically the median from the top 40%. So literally, you got your 40% value here, we slice in the middle. So looking at this in a bigger perspective, this was the answer for part B. So this was the minimum required to be in the top 40%. Now, if you split this in the middle, you have an area of 20 and 20%. So essentially, we could do two things. We could just, since we're, since we're at the edge of the tail, we could just say the property that X is greater than M must be 20%. And that's what I did. You could also have done property X is less than M, which would actually qualify for 20 plus 
the rest of this and all of that combines to make 80 so you could choose this one or 80 percent anyway let's keep going so as usual convert to the z form so z now becomes m minus the mean over sigma and then look for the 20 percent mark since it's greater we can use the small table again all right so let's see okay p is 20 percent this means the z value would be 0 0.8416 so again this is the value used to replace the the inside part of the probability here yeah? because when you place that 0 0.8416 that will give us a total probability answer of 20 percent okay so yep replace this with 0 0.8416 now equate these two and then simply solve for m so now we just again times it by 0 0.6 plus 3.3 .3 and voila m is 3.80 okay so again so leave me just let me know in the comment section if it's clear and um if not for future for future videos i will do an extra step if you want me to if i'm going too fast also let me know because these ones are very intricate and it's good to if you if you're really following guys yeah anyway um hey, let's move on all right so here we go so this is the d part now okay so the distance of the second jump is independent of the distance of the first jump okay so this means that we're having some sort of independence rule so if we so in other words of course to get into this uh, get to get to to be the top 40 percent we need to at least have been in the top 40 percent first okay and it's modeled with the same normal distribution so we've got the same normal distribution here students who jumps who jump a distance greater than 4.1 in their second jump receive a certificate so to make this clear you need to do two things so to get a certificate you need to firstly jump get being the top 40 percent in the first one and then um have a probability greater than 4.1 so this is the objective in the diagram it looks a bit like this yeah so this is um include this is the 40 percent of winners in this group of this group okay let's do this so at the start of the long jump competition a student selects at random find the property that this student will receive a certificate so to receive a certificate we need this quantity so let's firstly do property x grain 4.1 now as usual convert to the z form so we've got 4.1 minus the mean over sigma okay standard procedure guys plug this in a calculator and get 1.33 now we've seen this quite a lot we had this already in the previous answer so 1.33 was 0 0.9082 now just to be careful here this is z greater than 1.33 the table doesn't recognize that so that's why i did one minus the less than form because the less than form we have and table recognize that as 0 0.9082 the big table i'm talking about and yeah just doing that we get the same answer so actually this is the same answer as um here isn't it yeah we've got the same result here actually that's cool now now we're done so now we just now we found 0 0.0918 now we just find 40 percent of that and done that is that is the percentage of people who actually receive a certificate 3.67 percent <sighs> so far so good uh, i mean if you guys are enjoying it you know please just give me a big like and otherwise stay tuned for the next one so number four right let's have a look at this one so i'm doing this so this one's done over many slides yeah so we're going to take it take our time here so the partially complete tree diagram where p and q are probabilities gives information about andrew's journey to work each day so I've gone ahead and filled this out and I'll explain the yellow part I did later. So this probability tree was P. This, this means that because these two add up to 1, this must be 1 minus P. Likewise, this was done at 0 0.4, so this was 1 minus 0 0.4, so 0 0.6. This, these three add up to 1, so we've got Q and 0 0.15. So what I did here, I just did 1 minus 0 0.15 minus Q and then this reduces to this value, 0 0.85 minus Q. So standard stuff. Now, here's the questions. So, given that the probability of getting to B is 0 0.26, find the value P. Now, to get to B, I, we just have to find every single root that ends up in B. So, that's why I highlighted these um, trees. So, this is to get to B. So, to get to B, we can just do P times 0 0.4 and 1 minus P times 0 0.15. So, I did that here. So, we could say that this probability 0 0.26 is equal to 0 0.4 P plus 0.15 times 1 minus p yeah now you just have to expand the bracket solve and make p the subject and eventually you should get 0 0.044 easy stuff i think now let's look at the next question 
So here's the answer. Now, given also that not the probability of not R given W equals 0 0.175. So this is a straight up given that question. Find the value of Q. Right. So first things first, we need to deduce what is the area of W. So for every given that question, the second part of the term is always at the bottom. This is the area of interest, okay? So to get the area of interest W, we need to look back and firstly see all the roots get to W. So to get W is here and here. So we're going to follow this chain over here. You'll probably notice that I've also updated the p-values over here, so that's good. So now, what this means is that because the area is W, this is going to be the, the underneath part. The bottom part is always the total area because now the entire distribution is shrunk. So we no longer need B or BC. So these, these are literally out of the probability system. Now, in this part, we need to find the not R bit of W. So if you look at both chains, we put both of them down and to get the not R bit, this is the not R root. So we actually put 56 and Q down. So that would be the top half. So one way I remember, I always, um, the best way to memorize this is to firstly put down all your combinations, label it. So this is the R root and not R root. And they want to find the not R root. So you just take the second part and put it on the top. So it's always a selection of one of the terms or multiple terms. Okay, that's good. And then when you solve that, you make it equal to 0 0.175. And now this is kind of a long algebra. You just end up solving for Q and then you get 0 0.1. So that's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so where are we? Okay, next one, part C. Find the probability that Andrew cycles to work. Now, cycles to work according to this system is that in the, the letter that represents it is C, because C represents the event Andrew cycles to work. So we just have to get to C. To get to C is just 56 times 85 minus Q. And you put that over there, you know the value of Q, you should get 42%. Easy. All right, cool. So let's move on to D. So, whew, almost done guys, almost done. So given that Andrew did not cycle to work on Friday, so again, this is another given that question. Since we knew that he, the property of going to work, cycling to work is 0.42, that means not cycling to work is one minus 0 0.42. So that is the area now of interest. Another thing to note is that you could have done that or you could have just done it the long way. Since cycling is here, not cycle to work is all of these routes that are mapped out. Okay, now, so that's the area, so we're gonna, so our answer is gonna be somewhere from here. So find the probability that it was raining on Friday. Okay, so raining is R. So we can see from these branches that this is not raining and raining, so we're gonna ignore these ones. So probability of raining could be any route here, so we have to combine. So it'll be probability of raining, either he walked or he biked, so it's gonna be literally every route from R. And you just plug in the top line, put in your calculator, and you should get 22 over 29, or a simplified probability. 